สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Today is March 15th. It's Friday, the Ides of March. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. The acting director general of Thailand's FBI equivalent, the DSI, or the Department of Special Investigation, he's in Phuket to see for himself the progress of his agency's investigation to, to the elephant park operated by Swiss expat Yuris Fair and his wife, along with the land that his rented luxury villa sits on. The whole thing stems from the incident involving Swiss expat Yuris Fair. Back on February 24, Fair allegedly kicked a Thai doctor while she was sitting with a friend on steps in front of his luxury villa on Yamu Beach. Fair mistakenly believed that the doctor and her friend were trespassing. The location was later confirmed to be on public land, and the whole incident has gained national attention. In the wake of the incident, a litany of investigations was launched. On Thursday, the acting DSI Director General, Police Lieutenant Colonel Yutana Pradam, met with the multi-agency task force set up to investigate the cases at the Phuket Tourism and Sports Office on Thursday. They looked into several cases involving Fair, from probing the Green Elephant Sanctuary Park in Chunk Delay, which he operates, along with his foundation, and the land his villa sits on. Authorities are still looking into the investment structure of the Elephant Sanctuary itself to ensure that foreign ownership does not exceed 49%, and to determine whether they violate the Foreign Business Act. Meanwhile, the operations of the Green Elephant Wildlife Foundation nonprofit, now registered in Fair's wife's name, will also be investigated. The Phuket governor has already asked officials to dissolve the foundation. In addition, authorities are still investigating the land documents used to claim ownership of the land at Cape Yamu, where the villa sits on, to find any discrepancies. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Interior Minister and Deputy Premier Anutin Chambirakun took an official stroll through Patong's Bangla Road on Thursday night, amid the ongoing crackdown on foreigners breaking Thai laws on the island. His message, don't let a few bad people spoil everything. The Deputy Prime Minister last night joined a briefing led by Patong Police Chief Police Colonel Chalam Chai Hisawat at the Tour Security System Command and Control Center for Bangla Road. After the meeting, Anutin inspected Bangla Road and spoke with tourists, local officials and operators of pubs, bars and other nightlife venues, joined by several local officials. During the inspection, he told reporters, quote, We will not allow the case of only a few bad people to create the stereotype that Phuket is dangerous. Personally, I'm not afraid of the mafia. I'm afraid of mafia becoming free to operate. Anutin was speaking on the recent crackdown on foreigners breaking the law in Phuket after dozens were arrested in the wake of the incident in which a Swiss expat allegedly kicked a Thai doctor, with most of those people who were arrested charged with working illegally without a permit or performing jobs reserved for Thai nationals by law. According to the DSI, nine companies in Phuket will be investigated for the suspected use of Thai nominees to skirt labor regulations which restrict certain businesses to Thai citizens. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A committee in the House of Representatives approved a draft amendment to the country's civil and commercial code one step closer to making Thailand the first country in Southeast Asia to guarantee equal marital rights for all. Prime Minister Sreta Tawisin has been touting the marriage equality bill as one of his key promises since his administration took power in September of last year. The latest version of the bill allows marriage of same-sex partners aged 18 and above, according to the deputy chairman of the House Committee looking into the regulation. It will also grant them rights to inheritance, tax allowances, and child adoption, among other guaranteed rights. In order to do all that, a draft amendment has been approved by the House Committee yesterday to the country's civil and commercial code, which would change the composition of a marriage from a man and a woman to two individuals, along with changing the official legal status from husband and wife to the genderless term married couple. A second and third reading of the amended bill is set for later this month, around March 27th, in the House. If it clears the House of Representatives, it would go on to the military-appointed Senate for approval before it can be sent for royal endorsement. Officials say that the process is expected to be completed by the end of the year. But if it passes, Thailand would join Nepal and Taiwan as the only countries in Asia to recognize same-sex marriage and the first and only in Southeast Asia. For more, visit the link in the description. I was sure that it'll be easier to clear you from my mind. Just before you break a bone. Oh, 
Reports say that nine naval officers are set to be discharged from a local hospital in Chomburi province today after they suffered injuries from an accidental gunshot at the frigate that they were on board, according to the Royal Thai Navy. A gunshot from the HTMS Chomburi accidentally struck HTMS Kiridat on Thursday, just before noon. The incident caused a fire on the warship, along with injuries to about 13 soldiers. And it all took place while both Thai Navy vessels were anchored at the Satahip Naval Base in Chomburi Province. The naval gunshot discharged from the front gun of the HTMS Chomburi, and it hit the rear section of the HTMS Kiridat. The Bangkok Post states that the HTMS Chonburi had returned from a firing drill on Wednesday and had returned to the base for repairs, as one of its guns had malfunctioned during the operation, with an unexpected round still in its ported barrel. Today, naval authorities state that nine soldiers who all suffered from smoke inhalation on HTMS Kiridat are awaiting approval from doctors at a local hospital before they could return home. Navy Chief Admiral Adung Panyam has assigned the commander of the Royal Thai Fleet with leading the investigations into the accident. The result is expected within three days. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Oh, didn't see you there. Fight Circus is back. This time, the event will take place over two days, once again in Patong's Illusion Nightclub next weekend. The event will take place on March 22nd and 23rd in Patong with a fight card that includes event favorites like the Foot in the Tire Boxing event, along with the Wheel of Violence. This fight circus will also feature Phuket's first professional wrestling match with AEW star Luigi Primo. The main event will feature enigmatic fight promoter, TV presenter, MC, and occasional combatant John Nutt fighting two people simultaneously in the MMA Symmetrical Rematch. This will be the ninth show for Fight Circus, almost all of which have been hosted in Phuket. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. And we really appreciate you joining us here on this Friday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Please note that the latest edition of the Phuket News and our Russian paper, Novosti Phuketa, they've been released today. Catch yours at any of our distribution points that we're posting down in the description. The link is there. We'll see you again on Monday. Until then, Stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.